Welcome back! In this video we're going to create our first program that actually does something useful. We're going to create a simple calculator. We will learn how to get user input, logical expressions and how to do arithmetic operations. Before we move on, a little side note. To take a quick look at the import statement. Whenever we import something this way, we include all the contents of that file. And this is how we include only certain things to our file. In this case, I import only write line, write function, and readf function for reading user input. Now let's begin by planning what our program will do. So our calculator requires two numbers to work with. Let them be floats. Calculator will be able to perform four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We will use char type to store the operation sign. Now let's prompt the user for input. To receive user input, we need to use readf function. The f in its name comes from formatted, as the input has to be presented in a certain format. Inside the parentheses, put double quotes, leave a blank space, percentage sign, and s. The comma and the variable we would like to store input in. Percentage s means that the input should be automatically converted to our variable type. We could use readf to get the entire expression. In this case, readf will read each variable individually and convert them to their type automatically. Let's test our program. It doesn't do anything useful so far. We need to write the code for decision making. D language provides if statements for that. Put if, then inside the parentheses we put our condition. It's also called the Boolean expression. Deep programming language has one more type called bool. Bool type can either be true or false. Boolean data type will come in handy in the future. If our condition inside the parentheses is true, then it will execute any code inside the curly braces, that is, inside the body of the if statement. If the condition is false, we could use else keyword to do something else. Or we could use else if, if we have multiple conditions to evaluate. We could use right line function to calculate the result for us. All we need to do is to specify an operation. And if we receive none of these operations, we will just tell the user that it is an error. To check whether an operation is a plus sign, we use double equals sign. Do not confuse it with an assignment operator. This is how you assign a value. This is how you check whether two values are equal or the same. You could also check whether a value is not equal to something. You can also combine expressions by using double ampersand or double vertical lines. Double ampersand means AND. This one means OR. For example, we can check whether our operation is a plus or minus, and then do something with this. Or we may check whether A and B are zeros, and then do something else. Let's test what we got so far. That's it. This is our calculator program. In the next video, we will improve our calculator program by adding our own functions. Have a nice day.